Dear friends, in today's gospel passage, Jesus is coming to us with an assurance. An assurance for which every human heart longs. This assurance is given in Mark chapter 11 verse 24. That is, therefore I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Wow. What a soothing and exciting assurance, isn't it? An offer that attracts anyone to him. Whatever you ask for in prayer, if I just believe that I have received it, it will be mine. So then, what is the problem with our prayers that many are not answered? We travel miles to different shrines, do a lot of fasting, contribute to the charity works, yet God continues to be silent. Now in order to understand this passage, let us move further to the gospel of St. John chapter 15, which says, If you remain in me and my words remain in you, then ask whatever you wish and it will be given to you. Friends, here he leads us a little further. giving a complete sense of what he means it is not just a giving but conditions apply do what is asked to offers in the first phase and then in faith turn to him and then believe that you have already received it dear friends in fulfilling or living out the gospel passages or the words of jesus and particularly when it comes to giving charity i feel that what we give will be just one time meal or a piece of warm cloth but the publicity we give tarnishes the very image of the poor the regard for having received your help is lost one day if they have not had their food no one will know actually but our very entry with the purpose of making known our charitable deed like the pharisees belittled them perhaps what we do is more of self promotion than a charity than the wellness and welfare of the other in a way jesus is telling us that things just won't happen merely by our external gestures like making an offering bowing before the sacraments taking an oath contributing something to the church or by daily attending the church practices john and mark together creates a better understanding of these statements that is therefore i tell you whatever you ask in prayer believe that you have received it and it will be yours provided you remain in me and my words remain in you and then you ask whatever you wish and it will be given to you so the demand is that we pray in trust in the first phase and do whatever is asked of us like keeping his commandments and following his teachings and thereby making his word to be the programmer of our lives the programs of our life must be centered around his words and his teachings and having a life of such communion whatever you ask will be given to you this belief that they are already given to you or you have just received it imagine the challenge of living out the 10 commandments in itself A lifetime effort also won't make it possible unless we are so genuine. Honor your father and mother. You shall not kill. Thou shall not commit adultery. Thou shall not steal. What a challenge given to a follower. He gives no room to wander away from his word. He is introducing a covenant relationship that cannot be broken. a life of intimacy and communion that is centered around him and his word and he will see that we lack nothing thereafter and friends 
this invitation of jesus is an everlasting and ever growing sign of his affinity and possessiveness above all his longing it is in understanding that apart from him we become like a drowning peter he doesn't want any of us to be lost through this he is assuring an ever redeeming grace which on our own none of us will be able to generate and without this bond of oneness and belonging we become like israel who wandered in desert for 40 years and who longed for the redemption from the slavery israel who looked for a power beyond all their powers let us friends remember that god knows how to correct our disobedience and get us where he wishes us to and his ways are gentle and loving but our stubbornness and rebellion force him to take us away from our homeland to a desert removing all the pleasures and blessings which we so far enjoyed and makes us yearn for his presence even for our daily bread during these 40 days of lent let us invest an extra hour to be in the presence of god realizing this great truth it doesn't matter how far we have moved away from him but your god is inviting you and me to make a u turn in recognizing the redeeming grace that is waiting for our return let us redirect ourselves to this treasure chest desiring to make this 40 days of lent a transforming one identifying two or three areas from which we need to return we need to make a u turn from these areas You know yourself better than anybody else and I know myself and our intentions and reasons behind our behaviors let us surrender them to the divine grace flowing from this cross such genuine surrender will melt the heart of god friends doesn't matter how imperfect we are what our addictions are the moment we lower ourselves on bended knees God loves himself with a total embrace. Our gestures are physical expressions of who we are before him. And acknowledging that power that is above all other powers, we are binding ourselves to him. And Jesus looks forward to it. And such a genuine disposition will bear hundredfold results.